the scientists have no First Amendment protection. None. They're, they're not free to speak out anyway. Now, as I've mentioned in the past, there's a federal gag order. I want all your listeners to consider that. There's a federal gag order on all National Weather Service and all NOAA employees. I mean, how much more obvious is the situation? They're trying to plug leaks in the ship. And we have environmental scientists being fired all over. Canada's let go a, a huge number of their scientists. Australia has just fired 450 of their frontline environmental scientists. Why? Because they want to cover up what's happening in any way they can. And again, uh, they're simply trying to obscure the severity of what's unfolding from the public as long as possible. So I would argue this again. If we don't take care of what's happening in our environment, in our skies right now, uh, nothing else is going to matter. All these financial plans that people have and, and all their, their, their future uh, aspirations won't be anything else. We're the stewards of our planet, Greg, there's no arguing that. We've decimated it from every direction. So, uh, and I think, you know, Fukushima is a huge example of that. I mean, the, the, the fallout and catastrophe from Fukushima is immeasurable and growing. We've cut down our forests. We've lost 55% of Earth's original tree cover, 55% mortality rate. We've paved the planet, poisoned the oceans. I mean, where would we stop? But for a single greatest disrupting and decimating factor would be climate engineering. And in regard, let's take ozone depletion, depletion Greg. Right? With the ozone layer, we've been told it was CFCs, chloral fluorocarbons, but that appears to have been a red flag, and, and we have now enough data to prove that the greatest destructive factor by far on the ozone layer is geoengineering, disrupting the hydrological cycle, toxifying the planet. But we have government agencies, Greg, who are set up to hide this fact from the population, to mask it, to all the data is processed through central processing centers where basically a fictitious number is put out. So, Greg, you've probably felt how hot the sun feels on your face, out of you?